While watching the online lectures, be sure to use the attached packet to take notes on. You'll find the link for the packet here at the title page for each chapter. Click on it, then print out the packet. These gray boxes in the online lectures refer to the slides and pages in the packet. This is just a quick introduction to organic chemistry. What exactly are we studying here? And what does organic chemistry help us to understand? Well, first of all, organic chemistry studies something called chinops. These are simply the atoms most often studied in organic chemistry, which is simply carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. We're also going to talk a lot about the halogens as well. It just so happens that these are the most famous atoms that make up the molecules that make up life. So studying organic chemistry enables us to understand the reactions that make life possible. So that's what makes this subject so important. As we progress through this course, we're going to see molecules that look like this. This one is made up of carbon and hydrogen. And we're also going to see very complex molecules like this. And we're also going to learn strange ways to represent organic molecules like this. Later on, this will mean something to us. And some of them actually look pretty interesting, like this. And some molecules are so beautiful you could hang them up on a wall, like this. This could almost be considered art. This molecule happens to be a steroid. So we're basically going to learn how life works on a molecular level, which means we're going to understand it better. This is the main advantage in studying organic chemistry.